to get rid of loads and loads of meteorites. Ah, good timing. There's something I need you to do. Remember how I was saying that the meteorites belong to someone's constellation? Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. But however paradoxical it may be, this is the reality. If we want to get to the bottom of this, the best way is to find out whose constellation it was. Based on what you've told me, it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy mountain. Now, we may not know which mountain this was, but we can safely assume that it's not Dragonspine. Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? These are the questions that we need answers to. I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Seems we should head somewhere with lots of people around. That way, we should be able to find more victims to question. I need to stay in an undisturbed environment. So I will leave the investigating to you. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? There is Chinksa village in Liwa. Although it does not usually match your suggestion of somewhere with lots of people around. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims can receive medical attention. Much as they did at Wangshu Inn. Guild. Can you tell us if Chinksa Village has been affected by the meteorite strike? Adventurers! Perfect. I was beginning to despair at the lack of helpers. These meteorite strikes have been going on for days now. Don't even get me started on how much trouble it's caused. If one lands in a field, no one dares to go and harvest the crops. And if one lands at the entrance, access is a complete nightmare. Do you have any ideas on how to safely dispose of them? They're just making everything impossible. Guess we'd better help this guy out. Shadows of- <laughs> 
it! Come, sever night from day! Oh. Delve into de- <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, what a huge help! Have any of the victims woken since the start of the incident? Oh, I wouldn't know. You're better off just taking a look for yourself. Mortal. Art thou also descended into the realm of suffering? Same situation that we've seen in other places, too. Hey there, has this guy woken up at any point? No, he has said a few things in his sleep, though. What kind of things? So cold, can't go on, things like that. Somewhere cold, up in the mountains. Where could it be? Hey, has this guy woken up? Not so far. Okay, um, has he said anything in his sleep? Now that you mention it, yesterday he suddenly cried out, so high. Who knows what he was dreaming about. How high? High as a snowy mountain peak, maybe? A wicked mountain. Its frozen peak looming high. Home to a malevolent power. Let's talk to that guy over there next. Woken up? Funny you should ask. Gal the Six literally just woke up. All right. We're gonna go talk to him. That's fine. But he's only just awoken and is still very weak. If you must question him, please be gentle. Greetings, you who have suffered and lived to tell the tale. Your sovereign shall question you now. Food. <sighs> Need food. Are you okay? Sounds like you're starving. Uh, uh, I need... Uh, home... Uh, home cooking. Home cooking from Chingsa Village? Well, that can only mean one thing. Farmer food! Food... That's brought me back from the brink, that has. Did you have a dream while you were sleeping? Only the most exhausting dream of my whole life. Really? Why? What happened? Yes. How did you know? Way up in the mountains, the highest mountain I've ever seen. It was freezing up there. What were you doing there? I'm not sure. It's like I was... Possessed. 
I was consumed by the idea of climbing up the mountain and trying to reach the summit. Was there something special at the summit? Or... Who knows? Honestly, it's like I became a completely different person in my dream. <sighs> Don't ask me why. I have no idea. It's hard to describe. It's like I was being controlled, as if somebody else put the idea of climbing the mountain into my head. I know how crazy that sounds, but... An intruder trespassed in the dark recesses of your soul? An idea not autonomously generated by the individual, but that appeared within the subconscious. Yes, the signs do indeed point towards mind control. All the other victims we've met have talked about being cold and needing to rest. Were they all climbing the mountain too? Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. We need to update Mona on all of this. some stuff out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world from far above the clouds. That is the place from which this burgeoning darkness proceeds. Ice-capped mountain? Is that all? It's a really, really high mountain that no one's ever seen before, and it's super cold up there. The sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit, but they don't know why. Climb the mountain to the summit. What sort of person would wish to reach the summit of that mountain? And how is their desire strong enough to exert an influence on others? Perchance some poor soul lies there, buried in the snow, hounded to death on the mountain. Or... Some intrepid explorer was exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. Oh, I'll do another reading. Aha! Uh -huh. I see something here. It's a little vague, but I think I can get his name. Ah, uh, yes. Leonard. Wow, that was fast. Well, in case you'd forgotten, I am a genius. Leonard. Paimon's never heard that name before. Hi! Uh, uh, Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? What ho? We meet again, vagrant of Inazuma. <laughs> My retinue and I were just... The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. Who was that mage? She could not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir. Sir! Find them, and when you do... Another one? My lord! Ugh. It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming, but so be it. Move out, change a plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. 
My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Are you deaf or just stupid? When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. Any junior fortune teller could have told you this, but that man was a Fatui harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? A Fatui harbinger? Why, their wickedness knows no bounds. Whatever he was planning to do, he was heading straight for you. And he is an extremely powerful individual. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. As much as it pains me to admit it. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. I never said that. His strength may exceed mine by a hair's breadth. But in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. <gasps> this reminds Paimon of something. We ran into some Fatui at Wangshu Inn, too. What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? They must be plotting something. <sighs> Maybe. Oh! The Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. Was that it? Paimon, that was my line. Get your own. Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. Yeah. Where'd they get the power to pull stars out of the sky? Osvaldo Hafnavines, what is thy opinion? I think that anything is possible, main Fräulein. So long as they can afford to pay the price, they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction across the land. Fatui, your sin shall not go unremembered. I also believe that miracles can happen. Astral Emissary, you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. I will dispatch my forces to protect you, and they will ensure that the encroaching darkness shall bring you no harm. She means... me. No need! Paimon thinks that our current lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. You underestimate me, Fischl. I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Main Fräulein trusts no one more than yourself. My lady, she is simply concerned for your well-being. There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. If anything, you need my protection. Huh? What are you saying that for? For now, we must deal with the new threat. My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed, and it's the biggest one yet. like we made it here before the Fatui. Quick, there's no time to lose. This is the one. I sense an unprecedented amount of elemental energy within. The very heart of darkness descends upon the world. What do the Fatui want with this? Is it the elemental power? It's possible. But if that were the case, other life forms would surely be drawn to the meteorite's energy, too.